Oh, I am feeling a little bit under the weather today. But then, feeling under the weather just reminds me of some of the best school days of my life. The days when you took the day off ill and played the Mega Drive or the Master System all day long. Weren't they great? So, I've got another Master System game. It's Ayrton Senna's Super Monaco Grand Prix 2. The sequel to Super Monaco Grand Prix, which is an awesome racing game. Loved it on the Mega Drive. And arguably, uh, this is arguably the best racing game on the Mega Drive and the Master System. It's pretty darn good. Uh, what have we got? Level, beginner, background music, voice. What's the voice? What? No. No, I'm sorry, Senna. I'm not really getting that. Of course, like, um... Uh, like, oh, how do I get out? Hello? Help? Exit? Oh, God. There we go. There's his signature. Uh, Ayrton Senna sadly has died. He died in his Williams Renault on the way round a bend when a tyre smashed into his head after crashing, which is very unfortunate and very sad. But his memory lives on in this game and in his races. And, ooh, password system. Lovely. So this is when he was driving for Honda, by the look of it. Welcome to the World Championship. Champion of uh, Championship? I'm on a ship? You are my rival. Good luck. <laughs> you saki bastard. Round one, USA. Um, oh, I can... Look at this! Oh, I can change all the car. Automatic, please. Uh, gear. Uh, yeah, Model A. Tire. B. Compound. Wing. Mm, yeah, just a wing change. If I, let's go for Type 45. What the hell? Uh, qualify. Yes! Go on, then. Oh, yeah. Now, unlike the Mega Drive, where your view is mainly from inside the cockpit with the rear view mirror, this is... A third person, third Carson view from behind the car. As with other Master System games, I guess it's just easier to program and consumes less space and pixel memory and power. You don't have to animate the steering wheel and and you know a static cockpit with an unanimated steering wheel just looks for pits. No pun intended. Okay, so let's cruise around the track. It's quite a jolly affair. Obviously, this is uh, pseudo 3D. So, I say before polygons. This is the Master System. Of course, it's before polygons. But on these sorts of games, you don't really turn the corner. It kind of, it's, it's, it's a trickery because it's just going along a straight line, but the road bends. It's a, bit, it's a bit like the Matrix. The spoon doesn't bend, it's only yourself. In this, the road doesn't bend, it's only yourself or the car. Something like that. Anyway, as you can see, this is um, some race course. I don't know where we are. There's a lovely farmhouse in the background. There's a bit of city. Looks a bit Sim City like. Oh, Sim City! What a game! Sim City 2000. Spent ages playing that game. I remember my dad asked me once what the point in the game was. I I didn't know. I guess it's, it's a simulation. What is the point in any game, though? To reach your goal, to reach your objective. Then what? It's a game. It's just to waste time, isn't it? It's to frittle away the hours, just losing your mind. Hit some tires. Now, the, the car sprite on this game is quite small, smaller than I'd hoped for or anticipated. This is qualifying, so there's no other tracks. I don't really want to do the full qualifying. So can I exit? Can I? No, I've, I'm locked into a, a full qualification session. I better make this as quickly as possible because it would be nicer to race with some cars, wouldn't it? Rather than just bombing around an empty track. Ah. Uh. I wonder if I can beat my... Oh, my last time was abysmal! One minute, nine seconds? I can't... Okay, break, break. You kind of have to use your brake on this game, which you don't in a lot of car games. You can just bomb round the corner. 
what's that? Um, there was a budget label Master System game, one which used to be on card format originally. Was it called uh, just racing game or F1 racer? I played hours on that game, hours, and it was so basic. It was just that's not a cat. That's me passing cars in the game in my head. This is this is pretty good to play. You know, graphics are not bad for a Master System. I, I would have preferred a first person perspective, but this works well given the limited pixel size and the limited processing power and my limited playing abilities. Got some good squeaky sound effects from the tyres. The engine's a little bit annoying, but I've heard more annoying engines. Mostly from my own car. But you can, you can get some games with awfully bad engine sounds. You think, just shut the hell up! Please, God, I don't want to listen anymore. Oh, my last lap was good. 57 seconds. Check me out. I am going to be... Nigel Mansell is going down. Damon Hill. I used to love motorsport. I used to, I used to love Top Gear. Back when they had the rally reports. Do you remember that? And they had... Um, a bloke with a beard, and they had Quentin Wilson used to go and look at used cars, which were still pretty expensive. He used to go and look at like Jags, which were massively over the price of any typical family, but it was good. And that was this is before Clarkson came along and revolutionised it and t turned it into an entertainment show. When before it was destroyed, before he smashed someone in the face. But I have fond memories of looking back on that era and Top Trumps. Car Top Trumps used to combine about six packs to make a Mega Top Trumps pack. All about the old cars. And racing was clearly much more, uh, I was going to say exciting, but clearly dangerous. I guess exciting because it was so dangerous. In the, can I get out of here? How do I exit? I've done all my laps. Yeah, which is why I think I've, things like uh, Ayrton Senna got killed. I don't think there's been a death since Ayrton Senna died, has there? I think they improved safety so much, but there's been accidents, but no one has been killed, I believe. Now Formula One is... I watched it the other day, and yeah, it's okay. It's still compelling, but it's very... It's, it's all perfected, isn't it? It's very neat, and there's not much... Not as much as excitement as there used to be. And I don't think the danger should come back, obviously, but something missing. Maybe I think the cars are so similar to each other. And I don't know. Something. Something. Maybe I just miss the 90s style cars. Which I do. Can I get out of here now? I'm I've What if I stop? Can I stop? If I stop, can I exit? I'm done. I, I want out. I want. Hey, I'm out. I don't know how I did that. Paused it and did something. Right, race. Okay. What's that at the top left? Is that... Okay, that's just... Is that Senna telling me to go? Oh, so I'm just... Okay, here's some other car. Here we go. We've got some other cars on the track. Awesimo! Bellissimo! So I'm racing Senna. Good God. Good God. How am I supposed to beat this incredible man? Have you seen the Senna uh, film documentary? Very good, I'd recommend viewing. Very emotional as well, it's very... It's a sad story. You know, it's all... Brings out your emotions. Can't quite put my finger on why, other than his demise, obviously. But, compelling viewing. Come on. Taking you down, boy! Sending your ass back to Formula 3. The sprites get bigger. Good, good sprite scaling effects. I mean, we're not talking FX chip here, but the Master System. It's good. This game has been developed well. Oh, you bloody tire bastard! What? What's he saying? What for? I hit some tires. Get over it. it. Happens. You can't change what's happened. Accept it and move on, Senna. Good God. Eight. Am I position eight? I think I'm position eight. 
Oh yeah. Now this is nowhere as good as the Mega Drive game. It's good in its own right. As a Master System game, standalone, I like it. It's got good graphics, good colour, good movement, good con controls are responsive, which is what you want from a racing game above and foremost. But I do miss the Mega Drive one. I might have to crack that out later. Even Super Monaco Grand Prix, the first one, was spot on. I think it got like 95% in Mean Machines Sega and computer and video games. Sega Power, I think they all rated it well. I think the Master System conversion got some good uh, reviews as well, as well. And I think this game is an improvement on both. That office block looks lovely. Oh, it's gone now. Look at that. Is this London skyline? It's almost London-esque, isn't it? Almost. How many laps have I got? Oh, I'm going to have to pause this so I can drink some of my tea. Bear with me. Oh my god, I've just spilled it all over my desk. Right, quick play over. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.